Albert and I would like to give you a brief summary of the life of Siddhartha Gautama, known today as the Buddha. Most historians agree that Siddhartha Gautama was born near the border of modern-day Nepal and India, sometime around the year 560 BC. Son of the king and queen of the Shakya clan, the young prince was prophesied to become a great emperor if he remained in the palace, but should he ever leave, would become the spiritual leader of the entire world. This prophecy caused the king to imprison Siddhartha and send away all sick and elderly servants to shelter the young prince from any awareness of suffering. As a result, Siddhartha was unaware of the existence of both pain and death. When Siddhartha was 29 years of age, a musician travelled to the palace and informed him of the wonders of the outside world. Siddhartha then left the palace, as well as his wife and son behind, to explore. He soon came across a sick man, an elderly man, a dead man, and eventually a hermit. This hermit explained that he had renounced his worldly possessions to take on a life of asceticism to seek spiritual enlightenment. This in turn inspired Siddhartha to go on a spiritual quest of his own and he would spend six years dwelling in the forest seeking an escape to life suffering. After failing to achieve enlightenment, Siddhartha abandoned his aesthetic practice and sat down under a banyan tree, vowing not to leave until he was awakened. After a night of meditation, the morning star rose, upon which time Siddhartha Gautama realized Anuttara Samyak Sambodhi, highest perfect awakening, and attained Buddhahood. After 49 days of bliss, he returned to his fellow aesthetics at Deer Park and proceeded to give his first Dharma talk. He preached the Four Noble Truths and the Middle Way, which lies between indulgence and austerity, also known as the Noble Eightfold Path, which he taught for the next 45 years. I only teach suffering and the transformation of suffering. Thank you.